Last time, it was a bit of a setup of getting all the other people coming to our place. Who were they? There were people from Blumen, which is Fuse and the Idiot Trio. And then there was the Falmuth people, who is Yom, who, remember, this guy becomes a champion into a king and is even given a wife to. Bro just is the luckiest person in this show. Now, there is also Mao Mirim and Kadibudis, right? Clayman? As well as Tier Footman and Laplace, they have some other plans to fuck shit up. And I believe this is gonna lead into like a really epic scene from Milan, right? Let's begin today's reaction though. <laughs> Get fucked, Phobio. Get fucked, Phobio. <laughs> yeah, Milan's gonna pay for that? What are you gonna do? <laughs> Even they're like, no, you can't. You can't do that. What are you talking about? You are a lonely soldier! Okay. Does that matter? Is this title huge? Like, in the light novel, is this actually important? Phobio the Black Leopard Fang. In the light novel, does he actually have clout? Because last episode, apparently Vesta is super important. You know? You know, fucking... What was his name? Uh, Fuse was like, no way, you're Vesta, the revered, you know, researcher or whatever? So, like, is Phobio actually legit? Or is he just so full of shit right now? Maybe I should be giving him more respect, but compared to Milan, it's like, come on, bro. That's right. Wouldn't he? Actually, he probably wouldn't have because he's a good person. Bro, just go home. Yeah, we have a fucking water fountain and buildings. What do you have? Isn't Eurasia very uh, fertile land? So you're gonna humiliate yourself even further. Footman, I think, should appear pretty soon, right? The clowns, where are they to bait Phobio into taking the bait? There he is. There he is. You know? You know what would have been cool? If, um, you know how during the Gabiru fan group huddle, like, uh, Laplace was there from the beginning, we didn't even know. It's like, what the fuck, you were there? It would have been cool if Footman was actually chilling by the campfire this entire time, just like an extra character and nobody knew. <laughs> Completely ignores the intro. You don't have to worry about me. Oh, never mind, he introduces. What kind of name is Footman? I'm sorry, what kind of name is Footman? So his group is called, right? What's it called? Moderate Harley Quinn Alliance. Moderate? Is there like an extreme Harley Quinn Alliance? Is there like a very passive one? Interesting. They're very moderate. Okay. He's uh, angry. Whenever people start doing this, you should never trust them, man. Oh, there's Tear. If people come at you with their hands going like this and they say, I'm not your enemy, you should have your fucking guards up. I like his laugh, though. Really? Is he capping? You can, they can sense the, the, the anger and hatred, really? Waves of anger? I mean, he's called the angry pirate. I don't know. They already know what happened, right? They just know that Phobia is a good candidate for sacrifice for Karibunisu. Oh, can you? They can't, right? Okay, they're the kings, like the animal kings, uh, beast of tears. Be beast of tears. Actually, they're not even that important because the waifu beast of tears that we see in season two are way cooler and probably stronger. Anyways, we know how strong Laplace is at the end of season two. I should probably assume the footman and tear are also kind of on that next level, right? So these guys are completely outmatched, right? There's no way these beast Kateers could take out and take down footman or tear, right? I feel like they are a match for you. I I just I I just feel like they're way stronger. Just a little bit of a risk. You might die, but it's fine. See, this is where you should immediately know. How the fuck did you know about medium, right? Because they just showed up like, Oh, you seem angry. How can I help you? Tell us your story. And he immediately goes, You want to be Milim, right? <laughs> oh. All right. Conveniently ignore the fact that they knew about medium and your drama. All right. Your stupid phobia. It's fine. Karibudis. <laughs> Big airplane demon thing. 
it's a big deal. Okay, it's like a flying demon fish. Better buy now. Last in stock. Bye bye. Yo. They are master merchants. Fear missing out right here. FOMO right on display. No, it's, it's now or never, bro. We gotta buy it right now or the sale's never gonna come back. Why was a useless orc chosen as a demon lord candidate? So now you, another useless being, obviously compared to, I guess, Gale, like, Fovia thinks he's some top tier shit, right? Bro is power tripping. Holy shit, he is so full of himself. You think you deserve that spot? Dumbass. The great Sir Fobio. Dumb Fobio. I love these clowns, dude. And the Footman comes in front right too, right? Oh, never mind. I thought that Footman does this shit. Though sometimes, like, they'll immediately pan to the camera and the other clown will swap and the other clown will swap like that. I don't know. They're very fun. Tear, tear is very fun. Look at this. Boom! Perfect for fodder, a sacrifice for Karibudis. <laughs> oh, nothing. Nothing. Oh, see? That again. Oh, this is what I was talking about. How each kind of like boom, boom, boom. You definitely can't. He's so up his own ass. He thinks that they're not they're like being honest. This is the worst trade deal in the history of deals, perhaps ever. I can't cause trouble for Lord Carrion, so I'm gonna proceed to do that makes him the most fucking trouble. You could just go home right now instead of making a fucking fool of yourself, but alright, do your thing. You even resigning? Alright. <laughs> he just say go to serious face too. Maybe the Biscuiteers. Am I being racist now? Maybe maybe I'm being racist right now, but okay, hot take. Maybe the beast people aren't the most intelligent. Maybe their intelligence is a little diluted, you know, just because... I, I don't know, am I being racist? Maybe. I'm trying to play defense for Phobia right now, okay? I'm trying to give him reasons as to why I accepted this. No, he is a fool! This monkey is also a bigger idiot, actually. <laughs> He's even a bigger idiot. Phobia is not a fool. Surely if anyone can subdue Cuddy Buddies, it's him. It's like... What? Are we watching the same show? Actually, we're not, because they're coming from the perspective of Eurozania, and we've been witnessing, the, you know, the fucking Jira Tempest do all their shit, so technically we're not watching the same show. No, you can't. The only way to do that is to deny her food. I do really like Footman and Tear, though. They're very funny. They're extremely funny. Oh, medium! Oh, boing. Oh, 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 oh. That just a holding your breath contest. Well, it's easier to manipulate people that are full of themselves, right? Because th that is the, the best people to manipulate. You hype them up. They don't even second guess themselves. They never even think about what's going on. They think like, you're right. I am so great. I do deserve this shit. Without realizing, like, they just have no awareness, right? So for them, the, the clowns, that's like the perfect type of, type of candidate to manipulate. <laughs> No, Shuna won. She was the last one out. <laughs> Fuse, what's up? Fuse is probably like, uh, I don't know how long it's been. Let's just assume it's been like a week or so. And he's like, mm, no, I think I need like three more weeks. I just don't know yet. I just can't trust you. Also, this hot spring is too nice right now. Oh, what are we going to have for dinner tonight? Oh, he's being honest. I thought he tried to lie and say that I just want to hang out. <gasps> Gobzo. <laughs> I. Gobzo usually doesn't do much, but what the fuck is he doing? He's pretty muscular right now. Has Gobzo been fucking working out? <laughs> this is uh, Lieutenant Gobzo, um, the captain of the Goblin Riders' right hand man right here. Godzo, perhaps you could say. Oh, there's Gotta right there. 
ゆっくり羽を伸ばすのもいいのでは本当に人間の味方なのかどうか<笑> he, he even copied the scar Do you see Fizu's scar right there? <laughs> the left eye His left eye と確かと言ってたくせに Yeah, but the hospital is so nice He's not listening <laughs> <laughs> uh, isn't he training with Hakuro and stuff? <laughs> oh, they went home. Damn, Yom! Setting what up, really? Are you sure? That's right, we just helped out. We're friendly little monsters. Yeah, harmless. Just want to be friends. Hmm. Is this the way Fuse or actually because Fuse is the author. The author self-inserted his own being into this show. Fuse is the author. So by the author basically writing himself as an easygoing guy that gets shit done. Is that how he sees himself? Is he kind of hyping himself up? <laughs> he's also pretty fit. I wonder if he's actually fit in real life. <laughs> National Undertale. Oh, don't worry. Kun? <laughs> I think he liked that. Alright, let's build a great road of Rimuru. Give us the network hookups. Yeah. No, no peeking. No peeking allowed. Well, technically, Rimuru is genderless. Alright, here we are at Kariburi's cave. Only you can do a Sorphobio. Wouldn't it be hilarious if he's just capping and he's so dumb that he's just saying this shit? You're like, you're right, I can feel something in the air. When Footman and Tear are just bullshitting, they're just kind of hyping it up. Wouldn't that be hilarious? That's my head cannon. Many corpses. Physical host, and that's why you are, Phobio. That's you. You're the host. Come on. <laughs> Delay. Still buffering. Still buffering. You're more like into his body. Wait, Tear actually gave us a way out? Tear actually gave us a way out. <laughs> and he still accepts it? Oh no! Buy one, get one free! It's only five minutes left! You gotta do it right now! Yeah, it needs a corpse though! Uh, that makes no fucking sense, but alright, sure. Come on, Phobia, you gotta be the hero. That's right, you gotta save the clowns, Phobia. Fucking idiot. Very perceptive! That's hilarious that he just said very perceptive. <laughs> Bro has negative perception. No, you're not. No, you're not. The clown music is very fun. I like the soundtrack that plays whenever, you know, Laplace, Footman, or Tear around. You're so dumb. I don't even pity you. <laughs> Muscle for brains. Beast Kingdom, right? They're fucking idiots. So I guess, you know... Maybe we can do a little bit of defense for Phobio and say it's not really his fault. He's just dumb as fuck. <laughs> but even the clowns are like, damn, that really worked. Yeah, bro actually went in. <laughs> damn, that's crazy. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Dude, they're so funny to me. Oh? Lesser dragon corpse? Oh, whoa. They had a bunch of lesser dragons here? Dude. Fucking. Footman's laugh sounds like Frieza, dude. Fucking. Alright. I, 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 I gotta do this. Alright, enough, enough. Get back to this. There it is again. <laughs> now, is the lesser dragons, like the fact that they took him out kind of like impressive? I don't know. Like they're, they are dragons, right? So Tyr and Clayman, Footman taking down, you know, the, the lesser dragons. Maybe it's important. I'm not sure. Also, look, Rimur is on top of the fountain. A little cute design. <laughs> Crabs. <laughs> Boing. 
She can locate monsters right away. How? Mirimai? Dude, the idiot tree was getting worked. This guy looks so tired. Wait! Mirim even has a little necklace. You know, it's a Rimuru necklace. Look at this. This is so cute. Oh, oh, oh. No, it's short hair trainee. Were there two dryads? Oh, shit. Tria. Tria. Younger sister. Ah. <laughs> That's what you're shocked about? <laughs> she has a little sister. <laughs> Probably the effects of Kari Buddhist. A calamity class monster. I wonder, I, want, I would like to know like a tier list of the like different, you know, types of, you know, classes for monsters. Is Calamity like the highest up there? I don't know. What, what would Veldora be classified as, right? My sisters! It's not just two dryads. There's multiple. Maybe Trini has an older sister, man. Oh! What the f- other de- other details that I just- I just never knew. Oh, okay. Cool to know. Okay. Well, we are pretty much all builders with magic kills, but damn. Technically, Karibudis is like family to us then, isn't he? Yeah, we're like family. Maybe? No. Probably because of Phobia's anger towards Milan. So, Karibudis is actually a bigger threat than an actual demon lord, but is it like a regular demon lord or is it like a true demon lord? Because there's a difference in demon lord orc guild versus true demon lord Rimuru in the future, right? So, this is not on the tier of a true demon lord under that, right? Ah, oh, that's where the lesser dragons are coming in. <laughs> Just an average day, don't worry. You got a demon lord on our team, come on. It's nothing compared to Milim. Wait, why did she take this off like this is a superhero outfit? She just had this on the entire time? No, look, she's got long sleeves right now. She's got long sleeves and her shoulder, look at this. The shoulder and the sleeves are all covered. You look at this right now, look at this. No. Look at this. Where is it? Where is it, huh? My, no, no, don't. <laughs> I'm not asking for an actual explanation. I'm just joking around, but look at this. Where did it come from? Magic, don't worry about it. She actually will. Shio, no, no, Shio. <laughs> Shio, no, are you gonna go in there and clear it out? If you're not gonna do that, shut the fuck up. I mean... <laughs> alright, uh, alright. They're really gonna make us work. <laughs> They're really gonna make us fucking work. <laughs> no, you have been shining throughout the last two episodes. I feel like this is, again, the author just, like, intentionally nerfing Milim because, like... Mil the fact that we're allied with Milim implies a lot of shit, right? Like, she could just clear everything for us. Like, it'd be way too easy. So... Even right now, the author is obviously not intensely trying to make Milim just clear everything. She's benched for a while, but then she shows up at the end. And even after this, there's a whole drama of like being mind control, right? To kind of bench her more. Which is unfortunate because I'd love to see more Milim like that. But the power scaling, you know, the dynamics, the power balance. It's a little bit too much if, you know, Demon Lord Milim is on our side. Along with Rimuri just fucking destroying everything. <laughs> yes, defeat it. No, I don't think you understand, Mr. Fuse. Yes, so? Wait, is Gazal gonna send us Pegasus Knights over? Maybe? They're gonna fight the Megalodons or some shit? I think Fuse there kind of saw like a really good side of Nimudu there and he's acknowledging that. Yeah, because he's a human before, but don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Wait, he's gonna... You're gonna tell him that? Alright. Title drop. How many other people knows about our secret here? Because 
I I've, I haven't been keeping track of the people that we've kind of told that we are like an isekai character, right? Hughes is like one of the first ones for sure. Does our council know? Does the Kijins know? Does the goblins know? Does Rangan? I don't think they do know, right? It's just Veldora, Fuse. Who else? I feel like this is a really important thing that we're sharing this information, even though not many people really know of Rimuru's past. So far, it's just Veldora and Fuse with the idiot trio. That's crazy. The, the people that we've told is like Storm Dragon and Veldora. The idiot trio and Fuse. It's like the difference is a little jarring. She's in those two, yeah. Yeah, I think Fuse already made up his mind a long time ago. Mm. Revenge against Leon? Mm. My prey. Oh shit, the boss theme starts playing. Oh shit. Wait. True Demon Lord. Karibris. CGI? Karibris. Calamity class. Alright, that's the episode. It was uh, another setup episode, but still fun. I have a lot of fun shitting on Phobio, dude. This guy is an absolute idiot. And the worst thing is... This guy's probably gonna get a redemption arc, right? Like, I just love shitting on anime characters. That's one of my favorite things to do, actually. One of my favorite things to do is um, to de-stress from life and all this other bullshit is... So you just start having beef with NPC characters and anime. That's, that's, that's my favorite pastime. And it sucks when they get redemption arcs, but it is what it is. Footman and Tear, they're so funny. The clowns are always looking around to make new demon lords and saying, Oh, you know, we, we want to please grant us some good favors when you become the demon lord. It just feels like these clowns, the moderate Harley Quinn alliance, they have the demon lords in the palm of their hand. Well, maybe not demon lord fucking Leon Cr Cromwell, right? But Clayman right now. Do, do they see Clayman as like someone they ma can manipulate? Someone that we're just kind of acting like, oh, hello, boss. But at the end of the day, it's like, nah, he's shit. Maybe. I'd like to think that they are beyond these, you know, a little bit lesser demon lords and actually are truly like end game um, enemy factions. Interesting that there's called the moderate Harley Quinn faction, though. And then the rest was a little bit more set up with Kari Buddhist, you know, Trainee's little sister. More stuff here and Fuse and the idiot true learning about her past and becoming to trust us, even though Fuse has already trusted us. He just fucking he just hanging out here as a vacation because the hot springs and the alcohol and the food's so nice. But that's it. Next episode, I think it's going to be a pop up episode. Rimuru is going to fight and then I think he can't do it all. And then who comes to show up today? That's right. One of the strongest demon lords in existence, Mao Mirim. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.